Thousands of cubic yards of sand will be coming to the San Diego County shoreline to replenish and protect the area from coastal erosion. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes has more from an announcement today and tells us how this could help with passenger rail service problems. She joins us now live. Kirsten. Yeah, we're live here in Del Mar, where if you take a look behind me, these tracks go to and through the area of last week's landslide that shut down passenger train service travel between San Diego and Los Angeles. Now, local officials say the sand that they're bringing in will not only bring economic and recreational development to Solano Beach and Encinitas, but they also say it could help get rail service back up and running. This will widen the beaches and provide storm damage reduction, recreational benefits for the public, and much needed coastal protection. U.S. Representative Mike Levin says the $30.5 million partnership agreements for the San Clemente Shoreline Protection Project and Encinita Solano Beach Coastal Storm Damage Reduction Project will bring in hundreds of thousands of cubic yards of much needed sand to our coast. With the recent intense winter storms, it seems like most, if not all, of our coastal sand has all but disappeared. Mayors for Encinitas and Solana Beach say it'll get people out to their local beaches and spur their local economy. We're hoping to make sure that this wide sandy beach that protects the bluffs um, from erosion will continue. And leaders say it's a step in the right direction to get passenger rail service back up and running between San Diego and LA. Mother Nature always wins so we've got to be mindful, we've got to replenish the sand and ultimately we've got to move our rail corridor in the sections that are most at risk which of course includes in Del Mar and also, I believe, includes in San Clemente. If we want to have beach sand, we have to bring in beach sand. Geologist Pat Abbott says sand placement is key because ocean waves come into play. Beach sand is a good shock absorber. The problem is it doesn't just stay there. It ends up moving down submarine canyons and getting lost. But will this help get the train system back open? Yes, putting sand on the beach at San Clemente is, is a help because every wave that lands on that sand and spends that energy there, it's better there for the train tracks than to have it come roaring up closer and cut into the cliffs or the base of the cliffs underneath the tracks. Okay, so the sand will not be installed until fall of this year. No timeline on when the passenger train service will be picked back up between San Diego and Los Angeles. But the good news here is that freight service is back up and running in the meantime. It's Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. So, Kirsten, this is a lot of sand. Where is it all coming from? And how long will this project take? Is it going to be a while? And, and what kind of disruptions will there be to service while it's happening? Yeah, a couple of follow-up questions that we presented to officials. They say that the sand is coming from a borrow site a few miles south of San Clemente, and getting that sand on the shore could take several years, they say. They also say there will be disruptions while that sand is being installed, but they're working to minimize the disruptions to the public. Kirsten Holmes reporting live for us. Thanks, Kirsten.